In the previous video, we looked at common types of stepper motor and how to figure out how they are wired. In this video, I will show three ways to actually splice the wires together. The simplest method uses these wire nuts. The next method will use butt connectors. And finally, we will use solder and heat shrink tubing to make the nicest connection of all. The first thing I will do is remove this extra shielding and shorten up the wires a little bit. Then I'll twist the end of the wire a little bit. Now we know from earlier with this motor that one of the phases is on red and white and the other is on green and black. And we know that the cable has one phase on yellow and purple and another phase on red and black. We will simply connect these together. And that's it. We can plug this into the back of the BuildBotix controller. Also connecting up our gamepad by plugging it into the USB slot, we can drive the motor. Now I'll use the butt connectors to connect up this small NEMA 17 motor. I will also need these pliers. You will notice that these, the connector that's on the motor actually looks exactly the same as the Build Botox motor cable connector. Unfortunately, it is wired differently. So we will cut this off and remove a portion of the shielding. Next, I will strip these wires. And twist the ends. Next, I can crimp the butt connectors onto the cable. Now, I simply poke the wire into the butt connector to make sure it's in there properly. And then with the pliers, crimp the metal together to make sure it's strong. Next we will connect the other end of the butt connectors to the motor cable. Now we will connect up the six wire motor using solder and heat shrink tubing using our solder and iron. Now we determined earlier that the black and white wires were the center taps and I've clipped these off since we won't be using them. Then I believe the coils were between blue and yellow, but I can double, sorry, blue and yellow. You can double check this by connecting it together and turning it. Sure enough, you can hear the difference. Smooth. And with the wires connected, it sticks. Okay, so we have one coil here and one coil here. We will slip a piece of heat shrink tubing over all of these wires. Next, We'll take some smaller pieces of heat shrink tubing and I'll slip these over the wires that we're going to connect. I also like to use solder flux to help the solder flow on the wire. So we'll dip it in this solder flux 
And then I'll use this tool to help me hold the wires in place while I solder them. Next I will prepare another cable. Now that all the connections have been made, I'll bring in the small pieces of heat shrink tubing and slip them over. Now it's best to use a hot air tool or a heat gun to shrink the tubing, but in a pinch you can also use a lighter. Then finally, I'll bring a larger heat shrink over the top of it all. Here's the finished connection. Plug into the build box controller, and then plug in our game controller again, and test it out. In this video, we looked at three different ways to splice stepper motor cables together. You may also be interested in the next video where we look at optimizing stepper motors using the BuildBotics controller to get maximum performance and speed. If you found this video useful, be sure to click the like button below and subscribe. Thanks and see you next time.